This video is to show you how to do the calibration on a Millennium 2. As you can see right now, I have the cover off and the display is in its screensaver mode. That means there's not seen any gas and it has it for a while, so I went to the screensaver mode. If it happens to see gas, that screen will pop up. Or if you push any of the buttons with the magnetic switches, it'll it'll also come alive. As you can see on the screen, there's one, two, three little magnets. Those coordinate directly to these push buttons that are on the screen. So you can actually do the calibration with or without the cover on. If you use the magnet and you go to any one of these, it'll pop up. There it comes. Now you can see this happens to be a two channel unit. I have a LEL, percent LEL sensor on channel one. This happens to be one of the IR sensors. So to show you the calibration, it's simple as you can push any one of these buttons. And the first thing it does is it asks you if you want to enter into the main menu. And I'm going to say yes. And then it asks you to calibrate the sensor. I'm going to select that. And then it lets you toggle. In this case, since I have two sensors, you can toggle between sensor number one and sensor number two. Since I'm on number one, that's where I will select it. And it's just verifying, do you want to calibrate the sensor? And I'm going to say yes. So it gives you two options. You can zero it or you can zero and span it. What I have here is I've got the cal adapter attached to a bottle of zero air with a liter per minute regulator on there. I've got two of these set up. I got one on my zero air bottle and one on my methane. I also have a bottle of 2.5% by volume methane, which is 50% LEL. So I can just swap these off, but you can just swap between the regulators, however you want to do it. So I'm going to select the zero and span. All right, so it's saying the zero. So I have my air flowing for the zero. Now, you can calibrate the things in ambient air. We do recommend that you use zero air just to make sure that you don't have any hydrocarbons floating around inside that housing. Um, you, you will get your best and longer lasting calibration by using zero air, but it is not mandatory. Okay, I got to swap out because it's asking me to apply my 50% LEL. Okay, put that in there. Get the gas flowing. There we go. All right. Now, it's showing apply 50% LEL. That's because that's the default of what this thing has been programmed for. If for some reason, you can see the display starting to rise up now. If for some reason you had 20% LEL and you wanted to calibrate with that, you can do that. You Actually, there is a routine in the menu where you can go and you can change the cal value. Um, we always recommend that you calibrate at 50% of whatever the range is. So in this case, we're calibrating to, to 50% LEL. So as you can see, this place climbing up. What it's looking for, the unit is looking for, is to get a nice, strong, solid signal coming from that sensor. Um, man, this one's coming right on to 50%. Um, <clears throat> and once it gets a nice, strong signal, then it will make any adjustments that it needs to the sensor and finish the calibration. And it'll tell you when it's done, it'll tell you to remove the gas. So now we're just going to wait for it to tell us to remove that gas. While we're waiting for that, you also notice on the display here, there's these little plus and minus, these outputs here. That's actually for the 4 to 20. You can actually put your current meter in there. And you can actually measure the output that the transmitter is putting for that channel. In this case now, like when we're in the calibration mode, the milliamp output is locked so that you won't set up any alarms while we're doing this, this calibration. It will remain locked until that signal, all the gas is removed from it after, after the calibration is complete and it drops down to a safe level again. And you'll see that here in a minute once we're 
once it finishes the calibration, it'll it'll show that it, it's calibrates complete, and then it'll pop the display back up to normal operation. Remove the cal gas, shut that off, pull that off, and now you are basically done with calibration. What will happen is it'll first come up to a statement, it'll say calibration is complete, and then it will maintain that locked output until the level gets put down to a safe level, and it'll actually start to display it. You'll see it pop up. It'll probably Usually it comes up with something like three or four percent is when it comes and brings itself back online. We'll show that here in a second as it as it drops down. At this point, you really literally could walk away. You're done. You could put the cover back on or leave the cover on whatever you want, but you could walk away. It will once that gas level gets down, it will um, put itself back in line automatically. But at this point in time. It is basically done. There you go, cal complete. And here in a second, oh, there you go. All came up four percent this time. So it'll just keep dropping down to zero, <clears throat> and then eventually go back to its little screensaver mode. That's it. It's as simple as that.